We talked about use the product rule to find the derivative. I can't do this. <laughs> hey, Corinne, not now. Yeah, you can, Simon. I've seen your scratch work. Just take your time, focus on the equation. I can't learn this by tomorrow. I'm totally fried, Lena. Can you just give them to me? Simon, please. Can't tell anyone about this. As soon as the test is over, destroy it. You're lucky. That was my last one. Don't you need it? No. Hello? Lena, this is Dr. Prakash. Your mother is asking to be discharged from the hospital. What? She's not so much asking as signing herself out of care against her advice. I'll be right there. Just please try to stall her. OK, guys, time to go. Hi. <laughs> there they are. This is perfect. Can you take that to the car for Mommy? Mom, what are you doing? I am checking out. You know what, sweetheart? I left your markers in my room. You want to go to Mommy's room and go get your markers? Is Mommy coming home? Yes, I am. Mom, you need to be here. They can't treat you at home. I know. Lena, can I have a word? Here. I know it's not all of it, but I can get more. Oh, um... No, we're, we're past that. Her white blood cell count is not doing her any favors, and this kind of aggressive depletion doesn't give us a lot of options. But she can't come home, right? She's not going to get any better there. I think the best thing anyone can do now is to just keep her comfortable. Kitchen, anything? I'm good, Blake. Thanks for asking. You go ahead. All right, thanks, man. All right. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> I honestly think I've done that to you like 19 times. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the last time. I didn't mean it like that. I just, I, I don't want to talk about it. Ellie, like, no matter what happens, I'll... I didn't come here to talk about the test. Come on. I'm going to show you something.
this together. I'll take care of you. Hey, Blake. You know, I think I do want something from the kitchen. I found him at the Bilski's pool. Bilski's. You want a pop tart? Um. No thanks. Hmm. <sighs> Some people like to toast these, but I never have the patience. You know. God. I love them. Do you have fun tonight? You got anything going on tomorrow? Oh, wait. Oh, my God, you have a test. It's test day tomorrow. I completely forgot myself. It's so easy to forget something like that, isn't it? I get it. Okay. Sorry. Look, there's nothing wrong with having a little fun every once in a while. But you gotta pick your moments. The night before a life-altering test, it's not the moment. Got it. Solid lecture. Almost done. Now, I know that you don't really care what I think about this girl. Ellie. Ellie. But she's a distraction. Now you have tomorrow and next year. And after that, you have the whole rest of your life to be distracted. Don't F it up. You sure you don't want a Pop-Tart? Good night, Dad. Come here. Yeah, Lena. Lena. It's cool. Sorry, um, this is kind of an awkward question. Um, I was hoping that I could buy one of your study guides. Uh, I can't. What, what do you mean you can't? I just gave the last one away. Shit. Hey, Lena. What up? So? You and Blake Redding, huh? No, not really. He didn't even know my name. He didn't know your name? But we've been in school with him since first grade, and there's less and less kids each year. I know, it's pretty tragic. Jeez. Well, it's almost as tragic as being in love with your best friend who's in love with a guy that doesn't even know her name. But that's just something I saw in a movie once. Not today, Gallen. Yeah, you're right. Tomorrow's actually better for me anyway. Whoa. Never seen a kid make it past the guards before. 
Kellen, are you hacking into your dad's account again? Uh, yeah. So you're going to send the stolen security footage to the news? You ever heard of Wendy Banks? No. Well, she's a very prominent news reporter in Austin, and I have her direct, personal General Inquiries email address, so I'm sending her hot tips all the time. Does she ever reply? Whoa, I think I have more than enough questions to answer today. Thank you very much. Lockdown sequence. Yes, sir. Warning. Lockdown is now in progress. 30 seconds till lockdown. Testing to begin in 15 minutes. Good morning, everyone. I hope you all had a good night's sleep. I just want you to know that you've all had a great year. And despite what happens today, I am proud of each and every one of you. These questions are tough, but they are not aimed to trick you. So focus, take your time. And no matter how hard something looks, there's always a chance. You'll have two hours to complete the test. No talking. Keep your eyes on your own tablet. This test is an accurate test that will determine your aptitude. As you know, all grades are final. Pick up your tablets and begin. You have one minute remaining. Time's up, tablet's down, test is over. Okay, here are the results. Donald Green. Come with me. Kelly Jeffries. This way. Marcus Langley. 
don't touch me. Come on. Don't touch me. Hands touch me. Hands down. Lane Vic. No, 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 no. He's on the move. He's on the move. Hey, get him. Back row. Get him to the door. Uh. Uh. Harry Billich. No. No, please, please. Come on. No. It's time to go. No. No. And finally, Peter Strand. Ellie Harper. Congratulations. You've all passed. You can go to the rec room now. Governor, Blake's on the phone. Oh, good. Blake, I just heard the good news. Congratulations. Dad, they took Ellie. She's going to the thinning. Oh, God. I'm sorry, son. We have, we have to do something, Dad. Just make a phone call. You can say it was a mistake. But you know I can't do that. Dad. Son, we all have to obey the law, no matter how painful it is. I can't lose her. Dad, I love her. I'm sorry, son. My hands are tied. Stay in the line. Keep going. Single file. You. This way. Class, do you have a minute? Corinne, watch your mother. told me to stop, but I made way too much of this casserole, so please. Joey, turn it off. Corinne has to study. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Listen, do you have someone to watch Joey tomorrow? Because if not, I know of a great daycare. The cons already said they'd watch him, but thank you. I know it's Corinne's first test tomorrow. We're going to be fine. You know, I'm here if you need me. I'll see you tomorrow, okay?
So as far as tomorrow? I wouldn't worry about a thing. If you're watching this video, then I'm no longer alive. How many sides does the Pentagon have? Five. What causes disease? Bacteria. How many letters are in the alphabet? 26. Who loves you? <laughs> you do. You're going to do great. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. Hey, you ready to go? Uh huh. <laughs> Name, please? Corinne Michaels. Okay. Thanks. Good luck, Corinne. Name, please? You have a sit down with Greet the Press at 1 p.m. directly after the announcement. Great, what about the speech? Oh, we got the revisions this morning, they're good. Did Georgina sign off? Yes, sir. Uh, your car will be ready for you at 11. Hey, knock, knock. What do you want? I'm running late. Well, not everything I do has a grand intention. I just wanted to say hey. Hey. I wish there was something I could have done. But none of us are above the law. Not me, not you, not Ellie. That's a good line. You should use it in your speech today. Is there anything else you want to try out? I'm telling you this right now, but I'm sweating so much that my backpack is just wet. That's gross. I know you don't stress out about this stuff because you're a genius or whatever, but you gotta be a little bit relieved. I mean, think about it. This is the last time you have to worry about grades forever. Not exactly. You know you don't have to hang out with me. It's okay. Oh, really? Sweet. Did I get you? No. You do this every day. Oh, well, do I do this every day? Hello? Do I look British? Do I look like a British person? What the? Out of the way, bitches. Wade Freeman, all-star quarterback. Represent! How the hell is that guy still here? Maybe he's smart. Is this your phone? Here you go. Oh, dude, okay, here you go, I'm sorry. Oh, man, you're definitely getting thin. Go fetch, bitch. Closeted smart. Lockdown sequence. Yes, sir. Warning. Lockdown is now in progress. 30 seconds till lockdown. Testing to begin in 15 minutes. Warning. Lockdown is now in progress. Excuse me, Governor Reddy? Demonstrations in Moscow. Sir, I think you're going to want to take a look at this. Comment on the evolving situation. It's your son. Citing state neutrality. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Cole. Now, before we begin, I'm going to show you a really special video before you take your first test, okay?
This is planet Earth, our home. See how happy she is. Well, she wasn't always so happy. You see, not so long ago, the Earth wasn't feeling so well. First, she got too hot. <laughs> then, the ocean started to rise, leaving less room on the land for Earth's friends. And with less land, and more and more people, there was just not enough room for everybody. Luckily, boys and girls from all over the world got together and came up with some very cool ways to eliminate 5% of their population annually. You okay, Miss Cole? Everything all right? Because if you are not up for it, we can have someone else come down here. No, I'm fine. Just need a minute. Some places say goodbye to their oldest. Others only let mommies and daddies have one baby. In America, what if only the smartest boys and girls got to live here? That way, there's enough to go around. And America could be the best country again. Isn't that neat? Now all kids from first grade till 12th grade get to take the 10, 2, 4, 1 test to help planet Earth feel great. Okay, now it's time for everyone to pick up your tablets, okay? We have a very exciting test today, just like we practiced. These questions are hard. But if you take your time and focus, remember there's always a chance. OK, pick up your tablets and begin. Good luck. If you're watching this video, then I'm no longer alive. Today, I will be filling in enough incorrect answers to definitively fail my 10 41 exam. My dad wants to stand by this system. He's gonna have to stand by a system that put his own son to death. I want him home now. Sir, we can't get inside. I want my son home now! The testing's already begun. The school's on complete lockdown. God damn it, God damn it! Sir, they're ready for you. Take a walk. Mason King. Time's up, tablet's down, test is over.
If I call your name, I want you to stand up and follow the leader. I'm gonna play a song while we grade the test. Kevin Barrow. Nicole Chung. Marissa Gomez. Nathan Hill. Mark Salazar. Sarah Foster. No, okay, let's no, go. No, 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 Congratulations. The rest of you passed. And lastly. <laughs> Lena Michaels. Transfer is complete. Everything is in order, Governor. Mason, I appreciate your discretion. As always, I need the word from you to make it official. Are we approved to commence the thinning? You are approved. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Are you ready? Time to sell the dream. I've ever had. I am finding it very difficult to believe that she failed the exam. Maybe there was a problem with her tablet? Do something, please. Make it right. King, there's a teacher in the West Corridor who thinks there's a mistake with a student's test. Please advise. What's the name of the student? Michaels, Lena Michaels. Look up Michaels. First name, Lena. There's no mistake. Proceed and don't hold up the line again. No, no, I can't! I can't! There's always a chance. Get the hell out of here. Let's go. Move now. Congratulations, you made it. Frank Haller and EG Electric. Aren't you Governor Redding's son? I'd like to talk to you about your future. Hey, clear! When my grandfather started at Suru Global, he only worked with people he could trust. 
And I can tell you today that he would trust no one more than my friend and the leader of the great state of Texas, Governor Dean Redding. Thank you, Georgie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a great day in Texas. Being governor of this great state for the past six years, we've accomplished some pretty incredible things. We balanced the budget. We even had a little bit of change left to spare. We cracked down on crime by 26%. And above all, we are number one in education in the entire United States of America. decide what kind of world do we want to live in. 25 years ago, America was in trouble. is barbaric. Well, I ask you, is it barbaric to be leading in innovation? Is it barbaric to be the number one most informed and educated population in 196 countries? Is it barbaric to be the best? If you don't work, if you don't support our great society, then you are living off the system. That is a parasite. And do you know what we do with parasites? We wash them out! Today's average student is yesterday's valedictorian. Tell that to Vermont. Tell that to Oregon. We introduced competition in the classroom, and the results speak for themselves. Put these on now. Our great country has many challenges still ahead. And with your help, we can take the good things we've done in Texas and lead the rest of America into an even greater tomorrow.
this hour, this minute, this moment. I have looked inside myself. And in front of the people of the great state of Texas, I came here to declare my candidacy for President of the United States of America. Send Victor Woods directly to the control room. We need a full patch of the electrical system. Copy that. Victor Woods, report to the control room. Everybody stand back. Stand back. Uh, Victor Woods? Thanks. We've had a minor power outage. Nobody leave this room until further notice. What are they doing out of the chairs? Some of the restraints shorted during the power outage, but we got it under control. Have you done a head count? Sir, the door's locked. There's no way they could have. This isn't a discussion. When's the power back? Power's about 30 away. The cameras are going to need a separate patch. Just get it done. Hey! What are you doing down here? It's about time. I called for you 10 minutes ago. What? I'm Miss Birch. I teach 10th to 12th grade. Wait, why are you wearing... I just saw a student go down that stairwell. What's the count? There's a uh, one unaccounted for. You lost a student. I don't know how she got out. She? Her name is Lena Michaels. And where is she? Blake? Lauren? You failed the test? It's Lena. And no. There's no way I failed that test. What are you doing here? Didn't you pass? I failed the test on purpose. You did what? My dad between a rock and a hard place, and he moved the rock. Something's not right. Come on. I think I know where to go. Level four breach. Level four breach. Level four breach. Come on. Level four breach. Hey, what the hell is 
sir. It's past noon. We're still in lockdown until this is done. No one comes in or out. Parents are already asking when they'll see their children. What's the status of the missing student? All clear on level four. I want every teacher brought to holding room A immediately. Yes, sir. Okay. Where do you want to go? We need to find where they keep the desk. What are you going to do? Steal the answers for next year. Excuse me? Well, you know, for your little side business. Where you sell the answers to desperate kids for money. You don't know what you're talking about. No, I do. Innocent kids are killed to meet a bottom line. And you found a way to profit off them. Tell me, Lena. What did you spend the money on first? Is it a car? A nice dress, maybe? My mom. We had to figure out a way to pay for the treatments. We sold everything we could, but it still wasn't enough. I'm not proud of what I did. I just didn't know what else to do. In the end, it didn't even matter. You know, it's funny. Every day in school, they teach us how to solve problems. But none of those answers are in the real world. I'm such a dick. I'm sorry. It's OK. Thank you for admitting you're a dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. I just always liked you, and I guess I was kind of jealous of Ellie. You like me? Liked. Past tense. Hmm. Now can you help me? Um, yeah. Yeah, I can get this to the control room, but with the power out, there's not much we can do. Right. Excuse me. Sorry. We can follow the network cables. They should lead to the server room, which runs on reserve power. Yeah, but don't all computers require any shooter access? Access card. Come on. Hey, how are but, you doing, Ed? I'm great. I'm great. Glad we could finally get this on the on the calendar. As am I. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Uh huh? <clears throat> Got it. Thank you. Key cards and IDs. Thank you for joining us, Governor. Thank you for having me here, Vince. It's a pleasure to be here. Governor, I apologize. We're getting breaking news right now. There is a story developing at Vista Point High School right here in Austin. We're getting word that the school is still under lockdown. Now, the test should have ended hours ago. Parents are growing concerned, as the school is said to be holding students indefinitely, with no word as to whether or not their children are safe. Now, Governor, what do you say to these concerned voters? Um, uh, well, while I don't have any immediate details on the incident, um, I can say that we do have the best team in the nation on site, and that any problems or confusion will be resolved shortly. Somebody tell me what the hell is going on at that school. It's worse than we thought. Show me. Parents have been waiting for over two hours with little to no information on what has happened to their children at Vista Point High. We don't know if our son passed the test or failed or anything. This day is hard enough for all of us, and we deserve answers. This community has been through enough. No parents of students at Vista Point have been notified as of yet. We'll keep you updated as this bizarre story Get developed. King on the emergency line.
key card and ID. This is Mason King. royally pissed off parents talking to news vans in front of a school with no power. I need you to explain to me how this is even remotely handled. The cables are nearly patched. We will have power back shortly. As soon as the power is on, the thinning continues. You understand? The eyes of the nation are on us. We have zero room for failure. Understood, sir. We'll find her. We'll find her? Find who? Blake! Blake! Like break. So that happened. Put these on. So, am I going to have to ask you, or are you going to be a gentleman? I'll be a gentleman. Do I need to ask you to be a lady? Sorry. It's all good. I got, like, three quick peeks, so we're even. Okay, are you decent? No, but I am wearing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're gonna have to figure out a way to get back up there somehow. You do that, I'm going to go through here. What the hell is this? We passed the test. This is bullshit. I want to go home. No one has told us anything. Are we just supposed to sit here indefinitely? Nobody leaves this room until we get the all clear. Don't tell me what to do. Do you have any idea who my parents are? I'm leaving. Stay back! <laughs>
take care of that. I'm going to this inning. Okay, the major network should be here within the hour. I still don't understand what you'll say. Press are like sharks, Ted. They smell blood, they'll come swimming. We just need to give them some fresh meat. We found him beat up pretty bad. You got beat up by a girl. No, sir. Uh, well, yes, sir. It was two of them. <sighs> two girls. No, it was a male student. They got the jump on me. The, the other said she was a teacher. What was the teacher's name? This is ridiculous. Yes, this whole thing is. I don't know about you, but I could use a drink after this. Me too. You want to join me for one later? Sure. <laughs> Good. I have to warn you. <laughs> I get a little handsy when I drink. <laughs> I can deal with handsy. Uh -huh. So I'll see you after school? I'll see you then. Miss Birch, right? Let's continue where we left off. Key card and ID. I must have dropped it. No, I don't think so. Excuse me, this is a mistake. Everybody out. I had it two seconds ago. Where is she? Who? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. This is the last time I will ask nicely. Where is Lena?
All the information we have as of now is this morning, approximately 11.45 a.m., Lena Michaels, a student at Vista Point High, I failed an exam. She then proceeded to attack several DPC officers, injuring two and tragically killing two others. Since then, the students have been moved to a safe place and are being protected under a watchful eye of our teachers until Ms. Michaels can be apprehended. Karen, do you need a ride home? Now I'd like to speak to you as a father. I understand your pain. My son is in that school as well, and I will do everything in my power to bring him and everyone else home safe. Blake, if you're watching, I love you, son. This is a trying time for all of us. I ask for your patience and understanding as we move to resolve this matter and bring Miss Michaels Wendy, to justice. You need to see this. This was taken from inside the high school. Yeah, that's definitely a DPC guard hitting a passing student. This doesn't add up. Who's the source on this? us by a student source inside Vista Point High. Kellen? All units converge to the server room. We have her. Attention! I was just told to move these students to the recreation hall immediately. I didn't hear that. The students are staying until Mason King says otherwise. I was just told to take everyone to the recreation hall without any holdups. So let's get moving. Undo the restraints. <laughs> no, we don't do anything without direct confirmation from Mason King. Identify yourself now. Of course. I'm sorry. Let me show you the confirmation. <laughs> Congratulations. Take her to the thinning. graphics from we're going live right now Wendy this hasn't been approved by the network Carl it's called breaking news for a reason we're going with this now three two
Less than an hour ago, Governor Redding announced a situation inside Vista Point High involving a dangerous failed student, Lena Michael, said to be wreaking havoc on campus, leaving behind her a trail of terror. Just moments ago, we received official documentation from inside the high school, revealing falsified test scores, possibly to favor or target specific students to evade or endure the thinning. Among those wrongfully accused of failing the exam, Lena Michaels received one of the highest scores in the school. Blake Redding, son of Governor Dean Redding, passed the exam despite having the lowest score at Vista Point High. Hi. I thought you said that he had the situation under control. Well, the situation's changing. Yes, it has. I'm starting to think I backed the wrong horse. Congressman Sandoval doesn't come with these kinds of problems. Georgina. Don't Georgina me fix it. Or you won't have enough money to run for city controller. This explosive development calls everything said today by the governor's office into question and reveals a larger scandal at play. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, you gotta shut it down. Dean, it's over. You, you gotta let the girl go. You need to shut this down right now. God damn it, Dean, are you listening to me? It's over. There's no more moves. There's one more move. No, please! No! Sir, everything is in order. As always, I need the word from you to make it official. Are we approved to commence the thinning? Sir, are we approved to commence the thinning? No. There's been a change. We need to revise the list. Sir? That's an order. All released students are free to proceed to the recreation hall. Congratulations, you passed. <laughs> Round them up. What's going on? Let's go. Blake. Wait, what's happening? Here. It's okay. No, what's going on? It's okay. I did this. Get her out of here. Please. No! Get her out of here! Mommy, no! No! Out of the way. Wait for him in. Whoa. Time to go. Get off, bro. Move out. Bro, that's my throwing arm, bro! Do you know who I am? Wait, bring me, you bitch!
it's all over. The school-wide lockdown has been lifted and passing students have been reunited with their loved ones after what has been a long, trying day here in Austin. As always, our hearts go out to the families of the failing students who scored in the lowest percentile. The head of the DPC, Mason King, has been taken in for questioning in connection with the altered test scores. I am appalled by the alleged criminal action of Mr. King. As of tomorrow morning, I am appointing a special committee to fully investigate what happened at Vista Point. And if Mr. King is guilty, he will dearly pay for his unlawful actions. Earlier reports indicating a scandal involving Governor Redding falsifying test information were discredited when the presidential hopeful revealed his son Blake was among this year's failing students. My son, as much as I love him, is no different than any of your sons or daughters. I'm not a hypocrite. The laws apply to all of us. I just doesn't make it any easier. I lost my son today. But I know in my heart that he died for a purpose. All of our fallen students have made the ultimate sacrifice in the name of ensuring a better tomorrow and in keeping America's future bright. I'd like to take a moment thank them for their courage.